What is up players, it's Warboss Tay up in his mud doing a video on the Leviathan Siege Dreadnought Siege Claw <laughs> from Forge World. It is a weapon option that you buy separately from the Leviathan Siege Dreadnought itself. And so I'm just going to show you what it looked like coming out of the box, talking about the different pieces and a little bit of my experience. And then I'm going to show you at the end of the video how it looks all built up and painted and uh, ready to go. So here you can see there are three, or I guess four little plastic sprues if you count this one on the edge. You've got the insert that goes into the shoulder piece, and that's going to slot right into there. And um, since I'm going to be magnetizing these weapon options, I'm actually going to be putting that joint in there onto the weapon and uh, putting that shoulder insert in and gluing it there and then putting magnets into all the other pieces. That section goes into the front of the fist, I guess the forearm part, and glues there. The center, you can see the elbow pad, and those two pieces at the end actually go onto the Leviathan Siege Dreadnought's back, and uh, they're gonna connect to some wires. These three digits there are the Siege Claws. I love how they look like old school straight razor blades from like a Sweeney Todd kind of barber shop. Uh, a barber's razor, straight edge razor. And these are the two coiled wires that are going to go from the fist to the back. Now, I'm not going to use them in my weapon because I'm actually going to uh, be, when I'm switching them out, it, they don't match and line up by, uh, by using them. So I don't think you really notice them. It's only if you, you're going to decide to glue in your weapon in one static position, but uh, there are just too many pieces to keep track of the, the angles and everything. So here's how it looks, and I had a great time painting and or building this and painting it up. I decided to do it at like a 90 degree angle so that it almost looks like it's bent and it's about to go straight forward into a choppy choppy mode. You can see that I painted, up, painted it up in the color scheme of my Carcaridons uh, Siege Dreadnought, of course, obviously, and I think it looks great. I put the magnet in right there, and I made the fingers look like they're kind of open, but uh, because of the way the joints are, you can actually position the those digits to look like they're uh, closing shut, or two of them could be shut and one, one being open. Anyways, this is what it looks like all put together and ready for the battlefield. So thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video, please let me know if you have any questions and uh, I will see you in the next video. I'm going to be doing a series of videos now that all of the weapons are built up and painted and I um, am interested into hearing what you think of the Leviathan Siege Dreadnought and all of their weapons options. How do you run yours if you have one and uh, what do you think of the model? Thanks for watching everybody, have a great day.